What is up everybody? So we are back today with an install. Um, as you can tell, I'm sitting in the JL. We have an install for the inside of the JL. Um, I actually got this huge box in from Bullet Point Mounting Solutions. Um, so I'm gonna show y'all what's inside of it and then we'll get started on this install. All right, so first thing is this huge box. And it is their new Ruby Grid mount. So I'm really excited about this. I've been kind of eyeing it. And I can't wait to install it. So that's what we're installing today. But I want to show y'all what other goodies they sent over. Because they're just so awesome. Okay. Let's see. So there's two extra mounts to attach to the Ruby Grid. This is going to be another install. This actually mounts right here and it's actually to mount your CB to which of course y'all know I have a Midland GMRS radio so I'm actually going to uh, I actually ordered the other attachment that attaches to the little clamp here. So I'm going to be replacing this cheap plastic one with this awesome bullet point mount. So I'm really excited about that. It's going to look awesome sitting there. And this one, why I have the handheld um, sitting in the floorboard. <laughs> is because this one keeps popping off. I don't know if it's probably because I installed it whenever it was cold outside, but it just has a sticky back to it and it keeps falling off. So I've just been putting it down here in the floorboard. <laughs> but that's for that. So this will be an install coming up soon. And then they sent over some new little stickies that have their new name on it. It used to be Bullet proof mounting solutions but now uh, they changed it over to bullet point so they gave me some extra stickies to update all those because I already have this mount so yeah we're gonna be changing this outlet and then a couple other things of course I have another one this is really cool it is a keychain i'm gonna have to put that on my keychain and then a couple more things this awesome maroon beanie love it and last thing so they sent me one of these in black but they sent one in red so I can give this one to Michael because he took over my black one and I can have my black one back but it just has their logo I thought that was really cool of them so I'm gonna give this one to Michael and then I'm gonna get my black one back <laughs> but yeah uh, they sent over some awesome goodies. I'm so excited. Thank y'all so much bullet point for sending that over uh, Without further ado, let's get started on this install Okay, I'm gonna take all these ducks and mini jeeps down <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna Unscrew all these and then We'll remove this little plastic piece. Well, actually, I guess I can do that now. Um, on our last install, there's actually install video of us installing this one. 
Um, but what we did is we just cut it, cut this little rubber piece um, to fit still instead of just seeing all of that exposed. So yeah, but we won't need this anymore for this new mount. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and unscrew this other mount and then get started on the new one. Okay, so now that we have the old one removed, we're going to go ahead and install the new one. Alright, so first step, of course, they provide screwdrivers, all the hardware, so that's awesome. But first step, you want to figure out where you're going to put these ball mounts on the ruby grid so I'm gonna figure that out right now and then we'll install these onto the ruby grid okay so I think for right now I am going to install one right here and one right here and then since they sent a couple extras I think I'm gonna mount the GoPro one in the middle here that way I can have two phone mounts and then one GoPro mount. So we're going to go ahead and install these now. Alright, there is the first one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and speed up this process of attaching the other two. One in the middle for the GoPro and then one over here for the passenger side phone mount. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and speed through all that. <laughs> that way I don't bore y'all. <laughs> Alright y'all, so... I got all three of the ball mounts put in. Um, I probably should have mounted these two outside ones like the middle one, but oh well. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and install this on the dash now and then it'll be done. Okay, so you actually use the original OEM screws, but I don't know. I guess we didn't use the OEM screw on the other mount that we had. So, <laughs> we're going to be using these screws that came off the other mount. Because I can't find the other, the other OEM mount. But, that's going to go right in like that. And 
then you're just gonna screw it in like that to the dash. There we have it, the new Ruby grid mount. I'm gonna go ahead and attach, attach the phone mount and GoPro mount really quick. And then we'll attach. So we just attached the arm. Now we're going to actually attach the actual phone mount. Okay, there's that. Let's attach the GoPro mount. Okay. All right, y'all, there is the new Ruby Grid mount from Bullet Point Mounting Solutions. Y'all be sure to go check them out. But yeah, it turned out awesome. I love that we have a mount on the driver's side and passenger side, as well as a GoPro. Um, I may rearrange some things once I, like, we get on the trails and figure out exactly where we want the GoPro and everything to go, but for now, I love it like this. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below, and like I said, make sure and go check out Bullet Point Mounting Solutions. They're on Instagram, Facebook, go check out their website. All right, y'all, so that is it on today's install video on the new Ruby Grid mounting system by Bulletproof Mounting Solutions. Uh, y'all, be sure to go check them out. I'm going to leave a link to their website in the description box below. Uh, y'all can also use code Bikini Pearl for 10% off of y'all's order. Uh, if y'all end up having any questions about this install or 
any questions about the mounting system itself, just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to y'all and answer that for y'all. Um, if y'all like this video, give us a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and you're watching this video because we are coming up on 500 subscribers, which is amazing to me that that many of y'all want to watch our family um, just daily, daily life vlogs and Jeep life. Um, so thank y'all for so much love, so much support on our channel and y'all stay tuned for the next video because we will be doing an install video on the grab handle CB mount. So that's coming up soon. So y'all stay tuned. And again, thank y'all for watching. We will see y'all next time. Bye. Thank you.